Legends new ringleader. Alright, this one I am going to do on R1. It could be a little lengthy. Um, I'll show you guys where all traps and all that stuff are. Um, there's two traps in this one. Shall we begin? Alright, so the first trap is going to be to our right. So... See right there, cold trap. Couple things you could do here if you want to get breakable bonus and a conquest, you can run this way and uh, kill everything. If you just want to beeline it to the end, you can jump on the crate, jump up here. If you have a high enough jump, it doesn't matter if you hit the breakables, you can just jump right up and reach and grab, pull yourself over. So, I'll show you how much that skips. It skips all this area. I'll show you in a little bit. So with my jump, I can jump up there. So if you have a 9 jump, you can actually jump up there. I don't forget they have uh, potions of jump, which would increase a jump 10. There are scrolls of jump. It increases it 10 if you have caster level 1. So right there in itself, if you're wearing heavy armor, medium armor, anything like that, you can... Um, take it off because you get the armor, um, or excuse me, you get the, yeah, armor, was it the armor penalties there? I forget what it's called, armor check penalty? I think that's what it's called. Right here, the trap box. It's on one of the pillars. I forget which one it is. It's on the back side. Okay, front side. I lied. So, trap's right there. One time trap. Goes off once. So, but you still get the control panel. Get the tamper bonus. So, that's a good quest to farm. Run it, you know, run it once on Reaper, once on Elite, a couple times on Hard, Normal, whatever. You know, it's, it can be very quick if you don't get the breakables. Getting the breakables, in my opinion, is not worth it. You can still get Conquest um, without going this way. I believe you kill the first room. You can um, then jump over and kill everything else. And I think you get Conquest before you kill the end boss. You kill all the kobolds at the end. And then kill the named guy. A lot of breakables in this quest. I want to say there's 220 plus. Can't recall. It's been a long time since I've gotten them all. Can be a rare in here. Looks like he up. And now down. So if you don't jump over the crate, you'll need this key. 
and I don't think I can pick lock the door, so I'm going to take it. I'll try to pick it anyways. There is a collectible in this room. I want to say there's four or five collectibles in this quest. So that key is for this next door coming up. So it seems like this is a little quicker, having a great crossbow rather than a repeater for breakables. So maybe I'll just keep this out unless I see a reaper. Uh, so I already unlocked it, so I'm not sure if you could pick that. I'm going to say maybe you can, because it's stated up there that it's already been unlocked. But the key's right there. You get the uh, little extra XP for killing the one guy. A lot of guys out here, so I'm going to put this back on my repeater. You hear a mechanism sliding open in the distance. Fear is the one I'm concerned about. All the others got stunned. So there is some shrines over here. Let's see if he joins. Hello, you are on stream. Yay! <laughs> Say hello. How's it going? Um, hello. I'm, I'm pretty plugged up. Um, it's a little oh, sore. Good. No, I, I mean, I'm a lot better than what I was. I got 11 hours of sleep, which I normally don't even get four, so I feel really rejuvenated yeah. as far as that goes. Well, that's good at least. Yeah. Um, just yeah, so you know. Up too. Oh, you are too. That sucks. I think it's just I get, like, allergies during, like, the winter time. It's weird. It gets worse. Probably the dry air or the heat running in the house or something. Yeah. Um, just so you know, I'm just running uh, Kabold's new ringleader, just showing all the breakables and stuff right now. Um, that yeah, that's be done. Cool. Okay. Um, I'm half, about halfway through. There's a lot of breakables. Nice. I already got 162 breakables. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Jeez. And I'm at the part yeah, where you split. <laughs> no, it's just not worth it. I mean, first time if you got four or five, six people in your quest or group, yeah, if you have a yeah, sure if you want to, yeah, because you just run um, hack slash. So I saw you. Uh, I watched the Misery's Peak video the walkthrough you did okay, on that. Okay, nice. Yeah, that's a good video. Yeah. Um, it was funny though. I'm totally gonna point this out at one Go point in it. the video. 
um, you went to conjure bolts, but you clicked the enchant weapon button like three or four times in a row. So you cast like three or four nice. like, enchant weapons. <laughs> so the conjure bolts. Nice. Did I say? Go. Did I say that I messed up or no? No, actually. Well, at least I didn't run out of bolts. If you were paying attention to something, yeah. No, that's a good video. I thought that was funny. Nice. I was like, oh, why is he doing that? And I was like, oh, it's next to the conjure bolt button. <laughs> well, you can tell him when I get tired. I like yeah. this guy. He's up no, on top of the door. That's interesting. So I just ran a R3 uh, solo bringing the light. What? Nice. And that's Reaper. Or yeah, that's level 2, that so no Reaper enhancements. Collectible here. Right. But yeah, I actually learned something from that video too. I didn't know that you can only get uh, run the quest once for the end reward and, and get that uh, set only once per life. Yep. I never knew that. I guess yep. I never run it enough. Yeah, so you want to make sure you choose what you uh, or what you choose. You do it carefully because yeah, it's only a one time per life thing. By breaking the crit, you have I mean, you could run the quest multiple times, but you won't get the end reward. Right. So here you need strength for the door. Looks like we all have the strength for it. It's pretty low strength. Um, I'm gonna hop tombs to uh, try to get some more gear set up on this guy. Alright, uh, when I'm done with this quest, do you hop on our sorts for a little bit? Yeah, cool. definitely. Okay. I'll see you in a few. Yep. Say goodbye to the streamers. <laughs> Bye, streamers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see you. Alright. So, right here is little um, optional XP. Yay, 82. Not much, but it helps with the kill bonus, too. There it is. Um, so we can return it to him. You know, honestly, I don't think I've ever returned it to him, so let's find out what it does. We're at Vandal 208. Getting there. Slowly but surely. Collectible here. So that's our third collectible so far. There's one in this room. So there's five in this quest. Can be a rare in here as well. There's the collectible in here. Bookshelf. second lever you need to pull. The first lever was all the way over here. Opens the door right here. I'll show you in a second. But this is what I want to show you guys um, a little bit earlier than now, but uh, we'll get to it now. This is where you jump over. You start right here so you can run, jump over, kill the group of guys out here, kill the three that are out here, go in here, pull the lever here, go in here, kill the four, possibly five with the optional Pull the lever here and go out so it skips all of this as well as this room you can skip. So you see these two symbols signify the one room over there for the lever, that lever over there.
just got another kill bonus. So the end guy in this quest can hit pretty hard. He can crit. So it's important to have some fortification. Um, I'm level 2 and I have 125 fort. That's pretty crazy. I, I would say that's pretty darn good. So I don't think he's going to crit me. Um, I got 40 fort from this item. I have 30 fort from this. So right there's 70 fort. Plus 50 here. Where'd that extra 5 come in? I don't know. But it's somewhere. <laughs> oh, my gem maybe? My uh, festival? I do not know. I'll have to look into that later. I'm curious. So here is the last collectible. There's also a trap. The box is up there. I don't think it's here. It is a fire trap. So you climb up one of these sides. You can see it's right there. You jump on over. Here's the box for it. Good to go. There's two traps. All you get is tamper bonus. So you could disable the one at the beginning. You could disable this one. You could do both, but you only get the one bonus. Ransack. 244. So we're almost at the end. The end is up here. Um, so this part here if you're unsure if you're gonna die or not open this up either way regardless open it up you never know especially if you're doing reapers you never know if you're gonna get two three four reapers all at once it's hard to say so you can see with the breakable bonus I still have all these breakables down this hall going all the other ways so I definitely have uh, have that there so I'm gonna put these guys on defend he hits pretty hard forty eight gives you conquest so you could kill the red name now and finish it if you wanted My dog is going to kill him. Oh well. Nice. So, what did he just hit me there for? He didn't hit too much. 30, 40. On Reaper 1. Darn it. Alright, he keeps healing me. Oh well. Um, so, now your end chest is right in here. Nice dark wood. That's not too bad. I probably won't use it though. Because I have that one at level three, the Vorpal, that's gonna be that's gonna be nice. So, Conquest, Tamper, Ransack. 295 Reaper XP on Reaper 1. Took me 18 minutes, 23 seconds. So, 
So let's see what it says. He would appreciate it if you returned it. Hmm, okay. Ooh, oh, nice. It's a repeating light. It's at 9.35 base damage. And this is non repeater heavy. That's an 11 damage. Hmm. I like the light because it shoots three times. You have three chances to roll a 20 per click. You know what, I'm just going to pick this up anyways. Just because I like Vorpals. Alright, so that concludes uh, this video. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please comment, please subscribe. Um, Want to hear your comments either way, if they're positive, negative, if I did something that... Uh, you guys do different. I just want to hear feedback from you guys, so uh, be much appreciated. Thank you. Later.